Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'll be explaining how to use the CloudBree Backup for Windows software to back up your local desktop or laptop to the Google Cloud Platform. The software that I'll be using today to perform the backups can be downloaded from www.cloudberrylab.com. If you then click on Products, you can then access the CloudBree Backup for Windows software here and download it. So before we begin, we need to make sure we have a Google Cloud account set up. So you need to go to cloud.google.com and that will present you with the Google Cloud Platform. From here, you can set up a free trial by clicking along to this button here. And if you already have a Google account, then by all means, log in, put your password in and go into your account. But if you need to create a new account, just scroll down to here and click create new account. For the purposes of this video, I won't go ahead um, and create a new account. So I'll pause this video and restart it once I've logged in with my own account. Once you're logged into your Google Cloud account, what you want to do is create a new project specifically for your backups. So if you click onto this button here, go down to create a project. I'll just call this Cloud Prairie Backup. And what projects allow you to do within the Google Cloud, it allows you to organize your activities and allows you to set different permissions for different projects. So if we just go ahead and create that. Now that project has been created, everything else we need to do to schedule our backups to Google Cloud can be done from within the CloudBerry software itself, other than a couple of security credentials that I'll come on to shortly. So if we go across to the CloudBerry software now, Once you're in the CloudBerry software, what we want to do is move across to files. And this will start our backup plan wizard. So for first screen, click on next. From here, you can add the details of your Google account. So if you move up to add new account, select Google Cloud, double click. And here we can add the credentials of our Google Cloud account. So we just want to give this a display name. So we'll just call it Google Backup. You want to make sure the authentication is access and secret key. And now we need these two entries here, the access key and the secret key. Now you get these by going back to Google Cloud. You'll then need to go across to storage, then down to storage again, onto settings, move across up to interoperability. And you want to make sure that your project that you created earlier is the default project for interoperable access. Now this is a project ID that gets automatically assigned and you can make sure it's the right one just by clicking up here and ensuring that your project matches up with the project ID. If your project isn't the default project, then there'll be an option to make it so, so just go ahead and click on that. From here, you'll then need to create a new key. This will generate two parts, an access key and a secret access key. Now you want to copy this access key first across to the CloudBerry software into the access key. And now you'll need the secret key. So go back to Google, copy the secret back to CloudBerry and paste in the secret key. And now you want to create a new bucket. So if you click on the bucket name, this will retrieve any data. And if create new bucket comes up, then that confirms that your credentials are correct. So now we want to create a new bucket for where your backups will be stored within the Google Cloud. This allows you to create a folder name for your bucket. So we'll just call it, this is my bucket for backups. As I'm based in the UK, I'll select the EU for the bucket location to provide the lowest latency. And then I can select between three different storage classes, standard, durable, reduced availability, and nearline. The standard storage class provides the lowest latency and the highest availability, and is a default storage class. DRA has a reduced availability at a lower cost with the lower availability being the trade-off of this. 
and Nearline is typically used for cold storage such as DR and archiving. For this demo purpose we'll just go ahead and select the standard storage class and click on OK. And there you go, have the bucket name, this is my bucket for backups. And then we can click on OK. And now you can see that we have our Google Backup account added to the Cloudbury software. So if we go ahead and click on Next, we can give our plan a name. So we can call this Google Backups. Click on Next. There's three different backup modes, Advanced, Simple and Custom. For this demo purpose, we'll leave it on Advanced. You can then select a number of advanced options. Again, I'll just leave it as the default for this demo. Click on Next. This is where you select your files that you want to back up to the Google Cloud. I've already created a folder called Cloudbury Backup. So I've selected that. Now click on Next. And here you can set a, a number of filters. Um, specify backups of files or certain file types etc again i'm going to leave this as the default you can add compression and encryption options if you wish and then set up a, a retention policy as well for your plan again i'm just going to use the defaults and click on next and then you can set a schedule so you could have your backups run daily weekly uh, any kind of recurring date or specific date. Again, I'm gonna, just going to run this manually, so I'll accept the default. And then you can set notification option of when your backup completes or fails. I'm going to unselect that for this demo purpose. Click Next. And at the end, it will give you a summary of all the options of your plan. And then just go ahead and click on Next. And that's your backup plan successfully created. Click Finish. Now you can see that your backup plan has been created. Google Backups under the Backup Plans tab. If we just go across to the drop down icon, it just gives you a bit more information, shows you the last time it was run, etc. And then to run the backup, simply click on Run Backup Now. And this will then give you an indication bar of how well your backup is progressing. That concludes the video and the demo so I hope it's been useful to you and if you need a simple backup solution for your data visit www.cloudberrylab.com to schedule your backups to Google Cloud and other cloud vendors. Thank you.